Hey everybody, it's Chris Loud. Today I'm gonna to show you a painting demo where I had to remember not to give up and to follow the path of my abstract painting. Because of some of the choices I made, uh, what I thought was going to be a colorful and vibrant abstract painting took me in a different direction. Uh, I started by using a brayer to put a rough background with light olive green uh, on this eight by eight inch or 20 by 20 centimeter cradled wood panel. I also added a little bit of white there. And then started adding small uh, and colorful pieces of dried acrylic paint to the panel. Of course, um, other than adding the, the dried acrylic paint, the rest was intuitive. I, I hadn't thought about what the end color of the background would be. I hadn't thought of a focal point uh, or really what I was going to do once the acrylic peels were added. Um, I'll show you the point coming up where I thought to myself, oh, I really don't like that. Um, and you can see where I start going in a, a bit of a different direction that, that kind of pulls, I think, pulls away from from how vibrant um, this painting, my intention of the painting, uh, I think, was. I have, I have so many of these acrylic peels that I've pulled off of, of my tri-art palette um, that I feel like I needed to start using some of them up. So I'll probably do several paintings this week um, in pieces where I'm adding some of the, uh, the acrylic pieces. But at this point, I, I you know, kind of liked what I was seeing um, as far as laying this stuff down, but really wasn't sure what I was going to be doing with the rest of it. So when you're painting and you feel maybe you've gone in the wrong direction, and I'm putting those in air quotes uh, wrong, uh, don't give up. Uh, follow where the painting is taking you. Uh, there are really many possible outcomes from from following this direction um, or this new direction I should say um, you know obviously it can be really frustrating um, but it also forces you to adjust and helps exercise your creativity and with that said it can help you grow by exploring um, but also by looking for unique solutions to the new direction that you're now headed in so all in all, it's a great learning experience. Abstract art often relies on um, you know, our emotions and our feelings. So even if the direction seems wrong, and every time you hear me say wrong, I'm, I'm doing air quotes um, in conventional terms, um, you know, it, it might still be on a, a, an authentic expression of your uh, of your inner world. Um, so as I say that, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, what, what was going on with me when I, when I painted this? Um, and actually now that I, I think about it, it's actually a pretty, pretty good representation of what was going on, uh, in my head at the time. Um, nothing bad, just, you know, um, that is kind of funny to look at now. Um, anyway, Another option is to uh, start, you know, over with the canvas, um, and and that might be the direction, or um, you know, use use what you have as a background. So this is the point where I started adding those white borders um, and covering part of the the paint peels up that I felt like I was going in that unintended direction. Um, I didn't particularly like the way those looked. Um, again, it was intuitive. I just started doing that. Um, and I kept playing with it just in hopes that something would, would stand out and it would work better. And you can see I'm just, I'm playing with different tools. I, I start scratching lines and I use the fine tip applicator. But really nothing about this um, was really too appealing to me. Um, and mainly because of those those white borders. So I do spend some time trying to wipe those away. And what you know what you find is that as you're wiping some of the white paint away, um, it starts blending and, and covering up a little bit of the vibrancy of, of those colors. So um, 
I'm scraping away some of the background, just trying to um, get a little bit of what was back there showing, and then I finally just decide to go with, um, you know, kind of start over and and put that light olive green paint back down, um, which, you know, I don't know if that really helped much at all, um, at least in my mind. And then uh, I, I sprayed water on on the uh, paint peels and, and put a uh, paper towel down in hopes of being able to wipe that white uh, paint away. So it did take me a while to, to just keep kind of working on it. But again, the vibrancy of those colors um, now was, was kind of muted. So um, I do stop at one point um, and I walked away and I came back a little later and played with, uh, with trying to get the vibrancy back by using a little rubbing alcohol and a, a paper towel. And here I'm just adding some Windsor Blue. Again, I'm just, I'm reaching at this point. Uh, I probably should have stopped painting a few minutes before and walked away, but I, I just kind of kept going. With that said, I add some white here in a minute, and I think that is probably the best it's looked in a little, little while. Um, but again, um, the, the thing I was looking at was those uh, vibrant colors from those paint peels, and that's now, you can already see, has, has kind of gone. Um, but at this point, that's about where I'm stopping, and I start scratching in, and I'll show you the next uh, image of what it looked like after I uh, worked, on, um, worked on this with a little rubbing alcohol. Uh, so you can see that I was able to get some of the white lines out, but, um, you know, there's still, the colors are still fairly dull. Uh, and using rubbing alcohol, here's that, that picture. Uh, using rubbing alcohol, you know, inevitably it's acrylic paint. It starts rubbing the, the color um, of the paint peel as well. Um, so, and I just keep playing. I, I keep playing with this, um, seeing if I can get something to pop um, uh, on this one. So other, you know, possible outcome, um, an, excuse me, another possible outcome, I should say, um, and, and, you know, the outcome that we all hope for is that, uh, you know, we, we get an unintentional masterpiece out of this. And, and don't get me wrong, this isn't one of those. <laughs> Although I, I do actually like this painting now. Um, I'll show you at the end what it looks like. And um, it took me a little while, but kind of sitting on it, I, I, I do like it. Uh, just very different than what uh, I was thinking I was going to end up with that day. Um, but you never know until you follow the painting, uh, you know, follow where the painting's taking you. Um, so, so look at the mistakes or the, the, you know, feeling of going in the wrong direction as an unexpected journey um, and embrace it. So I jumped ahead a little bit. I just, uh, you know, kind of scratched into the paint. Um, but again, I'll, I'll come back and I'll... I'll wipe away a lot of that paint. So here we go. Um, this is close to the end result and I'm just looking to add a little bit, uh, a couple of pieces of acrylic paint to get a little bit more vibrancy and help kind of call out where I think now is that focal point is that little um, dot of ma magenta there. So let me know what, what you think, um, and if you have techniques when you're, you feel like you're going in, in a different direction than, than you intended, um, I think a, a key thing is to, to walk away and then come back to it. Um, I, I do that quite often. Um, and if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and want to see more videos like this and tutorials and art challenges, uh, feel free to subscribe. And I'll show you the final paintings in different orientations here. So let me know if you have any questions or comments. And thanks for watching. And keep on painting.